Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about having some mechanisms in place to build up your confidence. In the current climate that we are currently living in, with Covid and the world pandemic, it's made the world seem a lot more scary place. People haven't been going out as much, they haven't been able to socialise and it has led to a lack of confidence. And so I'm going to be showing you a few things that you can do that can boost up your confidence and make you feel a little bit better about yourself when you do start to be able to go out and socialise more. Now confidence is very much depending on circumstances. So for example, you might be talking to a group of five-year-olds, there might be 30 or 45 year olds but you might feel very confident. But if you speak to one person, for example, a manager or somebody you're looking up to, you might feel very small and your confidence might drop down. Confidence and self-esteem are closely linked. When you feel better about yourself, your confidence can rise. And so we're gonna start off with talking about a simple thing that you can do that can help build your self-esteem. And in doing so, it will increase your confidence. I would like you to write down 10 things that are positive about yourselves. So 10 positive qualities that you believe you might possess. There might be things like I'm a happy person, I'm a lovable, I'm a good talker, whatever it is, write them down. Now for some people who have got low confidence, they might really struggle thinking about 10 positive traits that they do possess. If you are one of those people, what I'd like you to do is ask people who you trust to say qualities that they see in you. When you have got your 10 traits, your 10 positive qualities or traits, I want you to write one per piece of paper because sometimes even if you get told you are that quality, you won't believe it yourself. For example, if somebody says, oh, you're a really friendly person, you might think, I'm not friendly, I've got a lot of social anxiety, I don't speak to people very well. But if other people can see it in you and you can't see it in yourself, until you start seeing that trait in you, it's just words and you won't believe it. And if this is the case, you need to prove to yourself for self-belief to believe you are the qualities that have been attributed to you. And so like I said, on each piece of paper, write a title of the positive quality that you believe you've got or you've been told you've got. And then over the next few weeks or months, every time you see you are acting in that way, for example, a friendly manner, you might be waiting for a bus and you were chatting to the person at the bus stop, so you can go home and write down that date, I was chatting to somebody, okay, maybe I am a little bit friendly. So when you can see for yourself that you are these positive qualities that you've been told, then your self-esteem will begin to lift. And also that will mean your confidence will begin to lift too. Confidence also comes with familiarity. The more often you do something, the more confident you feel in doing it. Um, a little example of that, say for example, you are a teacher and you're newly qualified. You go into the class for the first time, you might feel very anxious and very worried. You are on the spot, you are going to be talking. Six months later, that same teacher will be feeling a lot more confident because she's been doing or he's been doing the same thing over and over again. So the more you do something, the more confident you become at it. I'm going to give you an example of that, but you don't have to literally do the thing to feel more confident. You can do mental rehearsal instead. The mind sometimes doesn't know the difference between a real life action 
and you mentally rehearsing it in your mind's eye. Quite a few years ago, they did a study of some baseball people. So they took in a group of people that had never played baseball before and they divided them into three. One group they told to go away and forget this conversation's ever happened until you get called back. The second group, they said every single day, we want you to come in and practice throwing the baseball. The third group, they said every day, we want you to spend the same amount of time imagining you are throwing the baseball and getting it through the hoop. They brought everybody back after six weeks and they obviously found the people that had forgotten about it did the worst at getting the ball through the hoop. The people that did the best were the people that practiced on a daily basis. But what surprised them is how closely second came the group that had been mentally practicing, getting the ball and throwing it through the hoop. Mental rehearsal can be a very, very powerful tool in building your confidence. For example, if you haven't been out for quite a long time, you might need to build up the confidence in going out again. And so then, if you start to spend some time each and every day mentally preparing yourself for going outside, maybe going for a walk, maybe meeting people, when we're allowed to meet people again, if you start to mentally prepare yourself for how good it will feel, how happy you will feel doing it and how relaxed it is, when you come to going outside for that first time, you will feel more confident and mentally prepared for it to happen. Another tool you can use, which is a similar type of tool, is to actually start saying affirmations. Each and every day, try saying this affirmation, either in the mirror or out loud, but feeling the emotion as you say it. So try saying every day in every way, I am becoming more and more confident. Say it three or four or five times each and every day. It's especially powerful if you make eye contact with yourself in a mirror and you actually say it to yourself. But if you don't feel ready for that, you can just say it. Maybe when you get out in the bed for the first time, every day in every way, I am feeling more and more confident. Body language can be quite a powerful tool when it comes to acting and looking confident. Your body says so much about you and some simple things that you can do can affect the way you feel about yourself. Now, if somebody's got very low confidence, their head looks down, their shoulders are shrugged, they make very small movements with their body. They look at the ground and they shuffle. So if you want to change that, change your stance and you will straight away begin to feel more confident in your body. So by doing that, literally stand up or sit up, put your shoulders up straight, put your head back and put your hands in a powerful position, not all curled up in front of you. Relax them, stand confidently. When you hold yourself in a erect position with your head up straight away, you will feel and you'll start to act more confident. There are a few things called power poses, which can be quite powerful as well. So a classic power pose is you put your hands in the air. It's like a cheerleader type pose. So put your hands all the way up and look up. And if you hold that position for a minute or two, and then you bring your arms down, you will feel more confident in yourself. Another way you can use body language is a smile. As soon as you smile, as soon as you smile, you will feel more confident and relaxed, but also you will put at ease the person you're actually speaking to. They will actually feel from you that confidence and that being relaxed. And so it's quite a powerful tool that you can do. 
Now what I'd also like you to do is put yourself out of your comfort zone. Confidence comes sometimes from actually doing little tiny things each and every day that puts you outside of your comfort zone. For an example, I would like you to write down 10 or 20 things that feel a little bit scary to do and then mark them in order of how scary they are. So the least scary thing might be going for a walk in a very local park. And the most scary thing might be, this is outside of when COVID restrictions are lifted, it might be going to a party that you've been invited to. And then what I'd like you to do, little bit by little bit, start to do them, start to put yourself outside of the comfort zone. So in the first instance, it might be going for a walk in the local park. Only move up to the next item when you feel totally and happy and confident about going for that walk in the local park. Maybe you can make it a little bit longer to increase your confidence. So what you're gradually beginning to do is you're gonna to begin to feel that fear and you are beginning to build on it and work your way up to more and more confident things. Now I'm gonna give you a little NLP exercise that you can do for anchoring in confidence. So NLP is something called Neuro Linguistic Programming and it's a little trick you can do to anchor in your confidence. What you do to start with, I want you to think about a time when you were really, really confident, when you felt great, when you felt on top of the world. When I do this, I think about when I passed my driving test, it was such a wow moment. When you've got something you can think of, I want you to visualize it in your mind's eye and make it even more exciting and even more a yes moment. Now, as soon as you've got to that moment of being yes, what you do, what they suggest with NLP is to actually hold your fingers together like this and anchor it in. So when you have that yes moment, you anchor in that feeling. For me, it's more of a yes like that. That's more powerful moment. And then when you need a boost of confidence at any given time, all you need to do is this action or this action and you will feel more confident because it will take you right back to that moment when you remember being confident. So it's just a little tiny trick that you might be able to use in the future if you want a confidence boost. And lastly, I would like you to start to keep a record of all the times that you have been confident. Keep a record of your interactions in a little journal or even on your mobile phone. So what you can do is you can see what you're doing. You can feel good about these little tiny boosts of confidence that you have been making and you can build on them. Build on them more and more slowly until you are back to being your confident self. <music>